Okay, so let me see if I can visually show you what it looks like to brush the ball from low to high. Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be bringing to you a lesson. I'm working with a student and I'm showing to this particular student how to hit forehand with more topspin. Now here are the pros for today's topic, the topspin. So when you hit with topspin, the ball will travel higher from the net. The topspin will allow the ball to travel slower so you can slow down time. Now, don't be fooled because even though the top is going to travel slower, because of the spin that it acquires, once he bounces on the court, it's going to jump and pick up speed, making it very difficult to hit in the striking zone. All right, so here's the deal. Hold the racket in the middle like this. Okay, very good. What I would like for you to do is this, look. Drop the racket head, very good. And I want it to go low to high. Do you see how I did this, this brush? Man, that was pretty good for my left hand. <laughs> I can uh, see it, look, drop in front. See how far behind you are? I right, step up. No, no, right foot in front. Beauty. Now, this is behind you. You see it? This is in front. Now drop. And from here, you're, you're, you make contact and you're going to brush it and come all the way up in front. Does that make sense? I need you to drop the ball. Excellent. The more in front, the better. So you got to toss it right there. Go. Very good. You forgot to lean. Right? So when you put in front, it's, you're going to have the rack head below and then look. But you got to lean on the ball or it won't get you the ball. Let's see. Excellent. Here we go. All right. Rack head drops. Wait. Good. But look, this has to happen. Do you see how, how the rack face is facing that way? It has to face that way. Drop. Now go. Drop the rack head. Good job, here we go. Drop the racket head. That's it. Go. Now we got a spin. I need more spin. So that means this right here that has to look like a windshield wiper look. Right? Low to high. Can you can you see the the rainbow happening? Okay. Go. Oh, that toss was behind. You see how you had to back up? Try to get the toss in front uh oh <laughs> that's okay try again good oh that's a good one very good i need to see the pop the ball has to go up okay here we go it has to go above me oh boy i'm gonna die okay ah, that's it very good low too high Above me, go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Yes, very good. Down and up, okay? In front. Ah. Yes, good job. All right, we're gonna do four more, okay? Here we go. Uh, in front, see, you're still behind, look. Put the, in front, drop the racket head, and now go low to high. Oh, gosh, scary. Very good. Go this high, okay? Here we go. Excellent. Did you see that wrist motion? Contact. There you go. Are you ready? Now the swing is not linear. The swing is low to high. So I needed to look at the ball. Very good. Watching the ball. Ready? Go. Okay. Ready? Go. Good job. A little too low, right? Ready? Go. Excellent. But you, you went straight again. Low to high. Good try. So every time you go low too high, you miss the this, this strings. So you got to find a balance in between, okay? A little bit of each. Ready? Find a balance between spin. See, that's too much spin. Low too high. Yes! There it is. 
Very good. Can you redo that one? Let's see, can you? There you go. Again, shape of the swing. That's it, shape of the swing. Good job. I like it. That's a good mistake. Didn't I tell you that was a good mistake? There you go. Very good. Low too high. Good job. So you got to find the, the spin. Good job. So when you're hitting the ball, watch this. I cannot do it with my left hand. <laughs> so when you hit the ball flat, the ball travels super fast. When you hit with top spin, even though my arm is fast, the ball travels slow. Right, so the fast ball is important to finish it off. Maybe the last shot, like the, the, when you're attacking, right? But which shot you should hit most of the time? Exactly, because you don't want to make mistakes, right? So if we go all the way back and hit from the baseline, if you're going straight line all the time, eventually it's going to land on the net, or it's going to land short. But from the back, if you can do that linear swing, now look how much higher from that. And, you, and then you add to that cross court, you're barely going to miss any shot. And then when you get a short ball, now it's time to step in and hit the flat ball. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I was struggling doing this lesson is how to help uh, my student hit the ball with topspin, but a little more in front. And, and, and this is common. Once you start teaching someone how to hit topspin, there is a tendency of letting the ball go behind you so you can lift it up right here behind you. And you can do that. You can hit with top spin, and uh, when you delay the ball a little bit on the back foot, uh, Rafael Nadal is is known for that. To hit the ball low to high, behind him, pushing it upwards with a lot of top spin, a lot of wrist on the ball. Um, but I would argue that you can use your legs when you're hitting the ball better if you have the ball slightly more in front and also going low to high if you think about it feels more natural in front rather than back here so when you're making contact behind it feels more natural to go flat and through the ball rather than up 